Today we're going to be taking a look at the best trailer hitches available for the 2010 Volkswagen Tiguan. Now the three hitches we're going to look at today, two of them are class 3 and one of them is a class 2. We'll start with our draw tight class 3. This part number is 75658. Then we've got our Kurt class 3. This part number is C13133. And we'll follow that up with the Kurt class 2, part number C12097. Now before we start comparing the minor differences that we have in our hitches here, let's talk about the similarities. All of our hitches are going to offer the exact same installation process. It's a very short 10 minute job that you could easily do in your driveway with just a 17 millimeter socket and a razor knife. The two class three hitches of course are going to have the two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. The class three hitch in my opinion is definitely the most versatile hitch. It's something that allows us to use almost all hitch accessories with as long as they are in a class three approved version. The class two hitch, that has the inch and a quarter by the inch and a quarter opening on it. Now this we want to choose class two rated accessories. And the benefit to the smaller size is that it's just going to be really less noticeable on the rear of your vehicle. Now also across the board, we're going to share identical weight ratings. We're going to have a 350 pound tongue weight rating. So that'd be the maximum downward force that we can put at the receiver tube opening. And all of our hitches also offer us a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's going to be the total weight of your trailer and anything that you were to load up on it. You will, of course, want to check the owner's manual on your Tiguan to see what its tow rating is and use whichever of those are the lowest. Another thing to keep in mind is when you're hauling a non-wheeled load, so cargo carrier, bike rack, anything like that, Kurt does recommend the use of a stabilization strap. Now, as far as the differences are concerned in our hitches, I think the appearance of the two class threes is something that you'll want to take note of. The Kurt offers a nice flush reinforcement collar on the end that's kind of flat, where the draw tights is going to be just a little bit more rounded. The Kurt Class 2 is going to offer the similar flush appearing reinforcement collar, although it is going to be smaller. When it comes time to attach the items to our vehicle, whatever we might be putting in our hitch, the draw tight Class 3 uses a 5 8 diameter pinhole. We always want to use the one closer to the front of the vehicle to secure our items with and going to be plenty of room there for whatever class 3 type accessory that you might choose. The smaller hole is only for use with the J-Pin stabilization system, which is just a type of anti-rattle device. The Kurt class 3 is going to have a single pinhole. This is the same size, 5 eighths of an inch in diameter, and again, plenty of room there for whatever anti-rattle device that you might choose to use. Just keep in mind you will want the two that you pick for these to be class 3 rated. The class two is going to offer the half inch diameter pinhole. It's going to be a little bit smaller. Again, plenty of room there for whatever type of accessory you want to use to hold your item in place, but you will want to be sure that it's a class two rated pin or anti rail device for this hitch. Now all of our hitches are going to offer us the exact same clearance as well. From the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening on any of the hitches to the ground, it's going to be about 15 and a half inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole, to the outermost edge of our bumper, on all of them it's going to be about three inches. Now this is what the Kurt Class 3 is going to look like installed. The Draw Tight Class 3 is going to look almost identical to it, just that different reinforcement collar around the end. The Kurt Class 2 we talked about, the reinforcement collar is smaller, so most of this you're not going to see and it's going to be a little bit narrower. It's going to be again the least noticeable on the car. But with all of them, the ground clearance is going to be really good. And as you can see, it's going to be well above our exhaust. So if we don't hit our exhaust on anything, we shouldn't have to worry about the hitch. Now, when it comes to choosing the right hitch for your application, I would definitely recommend starting with a Class 3 hitch. Class 3 hitches are more versatile, meaning that there are Class 2 accessories that will work in a Class 3 hitch with the adapter usually provided, whereas when you get a class 3 style accessory, it's not going to go into a class 2 hitch. It's just not going to work. So the class 3's are more versatile. I would pick one of those unless I already had class 2 accessories. Now with that out of the way, we know appearance is going to be identical with the exception of the class 2 being a little smaller, little difference in the reinforcement calories, but that's a personal preference thing. When it comes to the weight ratings on the hitch, they're going to be identical. So regardless of which one you choose to tow with, they're going to perform the same. When it comes to the ease of installation or the installation process, it's identical. We're not going to have any difference there. And when it comes to our clearances, 
They're all of the same hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper and to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. The Class 2 is a little bit higher, offering a little bit more ground clearance, but I don't think it's going to make a difference on this car. So it's really going to come down to kind of the summary portion, which will be versatility, Class 3, if you can go that route. And I think for the recreational use for your cargo carriers and for your bike racks, the draw tight's the way to go simply because we don't have to worry about the stabilization strap that the Kurt requires or recommends. And that's going to complete our look at the best hitches available for the Volkswagen Tiguan. We hope you find this information helpful in selecting the right hitch. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.